What is happening YouTube, it's Matt Faircloth. So I'm really excited about today's video because a lot of you guys watching have full-time jobs. And you guys are like, I can't invest in real estate because I got this job. Today, we're gonna learn from a friend of mine who's doing real estate deals and he's making $40,000 in every one of his fix and flips with a full-time job. So we're gonna look at this cool flip that he's got going on and we're gonna pick his brain a little bit about some of the secrets that he uses to keep this flip going while he's got his full-time job. This is my man, Numang. What's up, man? Hey, How man. you doing? Cool. Good to have you. Numang. So this is his flip here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. We can say where we are, right? We're in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. And he picked up this flip for, which you buy this place for? Yeah, so I got this from uh, online auction. Yeah. And uh, I got it for 161K cash. 161K. Yeah. All in, that's with all the fees, because the auction guys charge you fees. Yeah. By the way, we're gonna shoot another video about doing deals with online auctions, so keep an eye out for that one. But this is about, you got a full-time job, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, you're IT guy, successful, yeah. okay, yeah. cool. Um, but he's also got some extra cash, wants to put into some deals, wants to expand his wealth to real estate, um, has watched some YouTube stuff from me, his oh. bigger pockets, yeah. read a lot of books, he's got a copy of Rich Dad, Poor Dad laying here <laughs> and everything like that. So he's educated and he's done a lot of stuff on the side, but you've also got a full-time gig. So we're gonna take a tour of this property and learn a lot of stuff on, on how you've done it here. But I also wanna to talk to you, most importantly, because everybody watching, these people have full-time jobs and they like what they do, or maybe they're trying to work their way out of the job through real estate. So what are some, you know, what are some ways that you can hold down a full-time job yet still manage a flip like this? Because you even travel, you're not just working yeah, on a Yeah, I travel a lot, actually two weeks at least a month. Two weeks a month and he's doing flips yeah. making $40,000 a piece. Yeah. Tell us how it's done, give us a couple of tips. Okay, so so I've got few criteria. Yeah. So the first one, very, very important one is 10 miles radius. So I do uh -huh. all my deals, I've got 11 properties, uh -huh. and all these deals are within, I would say, 10 miles radius. 10 miles yeah, of, your, so of your home yeah. or your office? From my home. Okay. Okay. So Robbinsville, Hamilton, Lawrenceville, East Windsor, etc. Those right. are the towns that I look for. Second thing is, I look for only condos for now. You know, I understand the HOA fees and all that, uh, huh. that, that plays a big role in your total math. Mm -hmm. However, what I figured out is, if you buy, a property that is that is within uh, in a building which yes. is basically one of 10 or 15 uh, units right the likelihood of that property having some major issues is less yeah okay so i've been investing only in condos for now okay okay so, and the third one uh, important one is not more than 1500 square feet I, I just want to get in. These are so counterintuitive <laughs> to what I hear a lot of investors say. But keep going, tell yeah, me why. I, I got a question yeah, for you so, that I want to so hear. So the reasons yeah. is basically I want to get into something that may not be very, very painful flip for me, right. very time consuming flip for me. So all the flips I've done, this is my fourth flip, and I've basically gone in and out in less than three months. Uh -huh. so okay. This is the one that's probably taking a little longer. It's been two and a half months I'm in this. Yeah. I'm sure I'll be like two and a half months. But I can tell you, I've done big flips where we reframe the place and put new roofs and put new this and put new that. And the reno took me four, five, six months sometimes. I got jobs that take me a year, right? Um, and so the fact that you're like, yeah, this is taking a long time, it's taking two and a half months, like that's impressive. That's interesting. So you, uh, you have a stick and move type of mentality, it's like a boxer thing, yeah. but like you have like a stick and move mentality with flips. You want to get in, add some value, and then get out, yeah. right? I can tell you it's hard to do that on straight single family homes, um, which is a different market. Maybe you can get a few more dollars per square foot, um, but you can get in and get out with condos. So that's a tip um, is, uh, is, you know, condos and small, no more than 1,500 square foot. Those are good because I think that the bottom line below all that is time yeah. for you holding down a full-time job and, and being able to get in, add value to a property under a reasonable amount of time and then get back out, right? Yeah, yeah. So. yeah the other thing is, you know, I've been in this uh, real estate business just for 18, 19 months and uh, I don't know enough about all this. You know, I'm still still very early in my career. You seem to know enough. But uh, <laughs> so I didn't want to get into any any property that, that, would, that would be painful, basically. I right. just wanted to keep it simple yeah. while I'm learning. So. Yeah, I, I think that, that keeping it simple 
um, enables you to keep the time window short. Yep. Yep. Um, now that said, you maybe have to pay a little more for the property. Right, um, because and then there's other investors that want to see more meat on the bone. They want to see. They want to buy it for 50 percent or less of asking. Um, they're of the, the after repair value, but you're willing to pay more because it doesn't need much. It needs a nice cleanup, right? Um, so uh, okay. How? The last thing um, before we uh, let you jump before we uh, end this and maybe do a you know do a few other videos for a tour out here and stuff. Uh, so check out those also because we're gonna take them on and do a quick tour of this property. Um, and here's some cool thoughts about how he spent eighteen thousand dollars on his renovation here. He's only he's making forty k, but his rental was only eighteen k. We're gonna look to see how he made eighteen k make this place look beautiful. Well, that's another video. Check that one out too. Um, but how do you manage contractors? From remote, because you, you say you travel two days, two months a year, a week, or two, 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 two weeks a month. Uh, uh, so, how are you able to manage your contractors and, and do all that from remote? Because you could be in another state yeah. while this is going on. Yeah, so I, as I told you, right, it's been uh, this is my 11th property. Mm -hmm. So, with this little experience, you know, I could build a good team. So I have a flooring guy, I have mm -hmm. a painter, mm -hmm. I have a couple of good handymen. Yeah. Also, a good contact, online contact uh, for the kitchen stuff, mm -hmm. uh, like you know all the countertops, cabinets, etc. So you same. Also, a very good guy uh, for my kitchen appliances. This is the eleventh set that I bought from him, mm -hmm. and uh, you know very very easy. Just one call. Would you pay for an appliance set? Yeah. So so on average, total eighteen hundred dollars. Eighteen for four pieces. For four pieces. For four four pieces. Yeah. Cooking range, dishwasher and uh, maybe a microwave or an or a exhaust fan. Okay, do you provide a washer dryer? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. all of them. Because Separate. again, these are condos so, and they all have right. uh, Sometimes washer dryers are included, and I find that for my flips, if the washer dryer works and it's there, I'll leave it. Um, if it needs new or if it's gone, you gotta provide one. Um, so just to summarize your tips here on how to do flips, making $40,000, holding down a full-time job, Right? Yep. Buying condos, mm -hmm. right? And one thing we haven't touched on is the condo association is going to do the exterior stuff. All you have to do is the interior stuff. That's brilliant. Um, 1,500 square foot or less, okay? Um, using a team. You're leveraging a team so you cannot have to be here every time and everything like that. And you're keeping it simple with regards to the rental and with regards to the condition of the property that needs to happen, right? Yep. That's and, and 10 miles radius. 10 miles radius, I forgot about that one. Yeah. That's that's a really, really tight radius, but I get that. I think you guys should take that in. That if you're holding down a full-time job, have a flip that's right around where you live. Uh, you, can, you can help you pop in, pop out. If you guys live in areas where it's not conducive for flips, I get it, you might have to try a different strategy, but it's nice to be able to just pop through the flip on your way home from work. You know, I happen to know you work from home, but if you've got a, you know, if somebody that's watching has an office that's 15 minutes away from, um, their home, they could stop through the flip and yeah. stop their jobs, you know, almost every day if they wanted to. Yeah, and also, you know, Matt, this is not that complicated. You know, once you do like one or two properties, this becomes a cookie cutter. You know, same Especially guy, condos. same painter, like same appliance guy, and it's, it's it becomes pretty straightforward. I would yeah. not say that it is too easy or too simple, but still, don't ever say not that. As bad as it yeah. sounds, you know. Yeah, cool. Um, that's it guys, so uh, comments below if you want to talk more about doing flips with a full-time job. Um, Umayu, thank you so much man, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching thank guys, you. have a great profitable week.